being free and filled with the anointing, with the dunamis power of King Jesus. Okay. Uh, and then um, even this afternoon, we're going to be diving into a little more on the fivefold graces in the church. And in even looking at the, um, the seven spirits of God as the agency by which his government is established through the fivefold. So that'll be this afternoon at 2 p.m. Tonight, that'll be with me. That'll be fun. Woo! We'll dive into some stuff. <laughs> but then tonight, uh, Pastor Brian Bolt, who's Go also on. out of L.A., L.A. County, uh, he's going to be here tonight. And he don't mess around. Yeah. Pastor Brian does not mess around. He is not your life coach. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Dude man got shot in the eye. And watched his blood shooting out of his eye. And was told that he was going to die. But Jesus. Wow. Listen now. This guy, this guy don't mess around. And he don't hang with people that are messing around. And so it's, it's, it's just going to get crazy. I'm telling you. And then tomorrow morning he's going to be ministering again. And then, guys, Prophet Charlie Shan is going to be ministering. Come on. And you're not going to want to miss that because... The Lord is speaking right now, and those who have a hear, hear, those who have an ear, better be listening what the Lord is saying to the church. God is speaking right now, and He's speaking to the church. And we have to know who we are, and we have to know the agenda of God. And the Lord makes His secrets, His ways known to the church through His prophets. It's established through His prophets. The church is built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. So there's something very foundational that is taking place this weekend that we will build upon. And so as they say at every conference, this is not just another conference, okay? <laughs> but let me just say this, this is not just another conference. And that if you are here and you're saying, listen, I used to be one that just kind of messed around. I was just, just another American consumer Christian that would go from meeting to meeting trying to get my next fix. Yeah. Kind of the kingdom junkie, but I'm kind of done with that and I'm ready to be fruitful. I'm ready to multiply. I'm ready to take dominion. If that's you, if you're feeling a sense of militancy, an urgency to be mobilized, then this weekend's going to wreck you. It's going to position you. And from this weekend forward, you just won't have the time or the tolerance to be messing around with nonsense. And this is what you'll say. This whole energy. What is that? It actually means divine works. It's the works of God established through his people. That's the word energy. And this is what you're going to be saying. When this weekend's done, this is what you're going to say. If it doesn't work, I don't want it. And if I don't work, I'm going to figure some things out. Just clear right now. If it don't work, I don't want it. No matter what kind of bumper stickers or makeup you put on it. I don't care how good it looks. Does it work? And that is why I love Apostle Catherine. Is because the Lord has been establishing a ministry in her life. And that is absolutely, radically supernatural. We talked about it last night. For four years, she stewarded her identity and her destiny, but without any sort of fruitfulness on it. Pastoring a church of 15 people that began radically shrinking to two people over a course of four years. And then the anointing. And then the power of breakthrough. And then all of a sudden, one day, she prayed for, for, for a gal, and, and the gal hit the ground. And she goes, oh, wow, that's different. All of a sudden, she prays for somebody. They start going through deliverance. And she's never done this before, but the Holy Spirit systematically walked her through a deliverance that just so happened to be caught on social media that went viral. And all of a sudden, people that were being tormented said, man, there's got to be hope. There's got to be a solution. Yeah, and the yeah. Lord is using this young gal, and I don't care who she is, if she's got hope. I want it. And that's, and there's a lot of people that are, that are, and you're here and you don't have any idea. You're like, what the heck is Renko? And you hardly even know who Apostle Catherine is, but you're here because you're thinking, man, if there's hope, if there's peace, if there's joy, I want it. I need it. I can't survive without it. 
How many of you, you're here today and you're desperate for an encounter with King Jesus? How many of you here today, you're desperate for something that stinking works a little bit? And with all that being said, it is such an honor. I, I, I so appreciate uh, Prophet Charlie who reached out to Apostle Catherine and said, listen, God's doing something really cool in Seattle and really cool in this Renaissance coalition. Would you come? And Apostle Catherine said it would be an honor. And it is such an honor to receive into this house, into Eden and into this network, the Renaissance Coalition, Apostle Catherine Crick. Please join me as we celebrate what Jesus is doing. Through her ministry. Apostle Catherine, please. Thank you, Pastor Darren. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can have a seat. Glory to God for all he did last Amen. night. Amen. If you, let's testify right now. If you received healing or deliverance or a miracle or a touch from God last night, just give God a praise right now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's a lot of miracles. Thank you, Jesus. He is so faithful. Yeah. Revival is truly now. Yeah. It's so exciting to think that Jesus is here right now. Can you renew your mind yeah. to that truth that he is here? He's not far away in heaven, but he's here right now. And he has brought you here to have an encounter with you today. So good. You didn't come here on your own accord. He brought, led you, brought you here because he loves you so much. And he wants to deliver you, heal you, equip you, and release his anointing to you. More of his spirit to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so expectant and excited for all that God is going to do today. Come on.